For today's high five, we go to Twilla County, where a man took tragedy and turned it into triumph. Yeah, it involves a topic that's often difficult to talk about, much less imagine going through. A topic that ran rampant for young people in Twilla two years ago, until John Gossett came along. It's an emotional topic for John Gossett. <sighs> And when he saw what was happening in Tooele in 2014... My son was a wrestler on the wrestling team at Tooele High, and he lost a teammate. And that was on Thursday and Saturday. Uh, my best friend lost his son. He had to do something. We were the only county that I could find in Utah that didn't have a, a suicide support group. He and a small group started the Life's Worth Living Foundation, a support group in Tooele. That year, 2014, 24 people took their own lives in this small community. I was home the day my son took his life, and I wasn't supposed to be. Ted Young remembers the day his son Cody took his own life. He didn't, uh, he didn't go to school that day, and uh, I was at the top of my basement stairs, and I heard the, heard the, heard the shot. He was barely out of high school. Pictures and memories are now all that remain. Every time I'm feeling bad, my favorite picture pops up on that electronic picture frame. It's awesome. And sometimes it stays there for two minutes or more, even though it's only supposed to go for 15 seconds. So it just goes to show you that even though they're gone, they're still here as long as they're here. And as long as you have them in your heart, they're always with you. Young is likely the person you'll talk to if you call the Life's Worth Living hotline. I've had six calls in the last 10 days. Uh, one texting was a kid that was 10. As shocking as the numbers may seem, the truth is this foundation that did not exist two years ago now helps dozens of people each year. We wanted to honor John, Ted, and this entire group with a high five and give them a message they normally give others. Keep on fighting. When you have somebody that's in your group that's in their 50s and he's been having the same thoughts of these kids since he was 16, that's a, that's a, that's a win. That is a positive for those kids to look at and say, hey, this, guy's going, this guy went through the same thing you did and he's still here. I think as long as we're trying and we're doing the things that we're led to do and, and feel like we need to accomplish, then we're doing the right thing. They are yeah. saving lives. A really tough subject to even talk mm -hmm. about, you know, and these, these folks have been going through it for two years. Uh, we wanted to help them out with a gift card, maybe get some meals for their meetings, their support group meetings. And uh, if you'd like to check them out, the Life's Worth Living Foundation on Facebook is a great resource where they offer positive messages every day. There's a great way to contact them through the hotline or through Facebook if you'd like to uh, learn more about them. A wonderful organization that's helping young people. Again, they thought they had no idea what was going to happen when they started the foundation two years ago. They they said they thought they might feel like idiots at this first meeting, and they had 15 people show up to the very first meeting, and now they have as many as 30 each month. So certainly doing great work, and we certainly applaud their efforts. Yes, we do. And if you know someone in our community making a difference, let us know about them. We want to reward them for their influence. All you have to do is send us an email at high5 at ksl.com. 645, now let's get a check.